write down what is spiritual farming. What is spiritual farming? Adhyatmik kheti mane kya? I will give two definitions. Number one definition of zero budget spiritual farming or natural farming. Number one definition, write down. What are the suggestions are given by the agriculture universities not to be followed? Write down the real definition. What are the suggestions are given by the agriculture universities not to be followed at any cost? And what are the suggestions not given by the agriculture university they have to follow at any cost? And that is the real definition of the zero budget natural. Second definition, write down. What is spiritual farming? What is, what is spiritual farming? What are the inputs are required? What are the inputs are required? What are the nutrients are required, inputs are required for the growth and development of the plant body or crops? What are the inputs or the nutrients are required for the growth and development of the plant body? are not to be supplied by human being, are not to be supplied by human being, only to be supplied by the God. And that is spiritual farming. Again, I would like to repeat, what are the inputs or nutrients are required for the growth and development of the plant body or crop bodies are not to be supplied by human being, not to be supplied by farmers, not to be supplied by government, not to be supplied by university, not supplied supplied by department of agriculture, not supplied by human beings, only to be supplied by God, that is spiritual farming. Now, there is a big question in your mind, the God will supply, how it is possible? There is a Himalayan question in mind, how the God is supplying? Why this question is arising in your mind? mind? Because you are not spiritual आप आध्यात्मिक नहीं हो, आप पाखंडी हो, नास्तिक हो, इसलिए आपके मन में वो विचार आया है कि ये कैसे संभव है, कैसे संभव है। Cultivation will be done by the God, how? Nitrogen, phosphate, potash will be supplied by the God, how? Micronutrient will be given by the God, how? The insecticide and fungicide will be sprayed by the God, how? Irrigation water will be done by the God, how? How it is? It is totally impossible, there will be a question in your mind. Because you are not spiritual, you are not believing in the God, you are not believing in the God system. So, this question is arising in your mind. You are rationalist, you are not spiritual. 
I will give an example. I will give example. There is a huge tree of tamarind, mango, or sapota in the dense forest. There is a huge tree of tamarind, mango, or sapota in the forest with uncountable fruits, uncountable fruits without human existence and without human assistance. Mano ke sahayok ke bina astito ke bina ghane jangal ka ushal ka imli ka am ka ped khada hai. Aganit palo ke saath me lekar, aganit palo ko lekar. You cut down any leaf of any plant from that tree and investigate in the laboratory. Aap us gane jangal ke kisi bhi ped ka koi bhi patta tode dunya ke kisi bhi prayok shala mein parishan kare. You will not get deficiency of the nitrogen. You will not get deficiency of the phosphate protest. Even you will not get any deficiency of the micronutrient. That means, in the dense forest, nitrogen is available to the plant body, phosphate is available, potash is available, micronutrients are available, everything is available, not given by human being, not given by human being, because human being is not utilizing any fertilizer in the forest. Who has given? Huh? the God, the nature. God has given all the nutrients to the plant body. That means, that means, there is a self developing, self nourishing, self reliant system of the God by which all the inputs are available naturally to the plants, not necessary to be given by the human being because there is no role of the human being in the development of the plant body. This is our ahankara, ego, kya bolte aap, ahankara ko telgu mein, ahankara, it is your ahankara, ego, that we are the producer, you are the producer, murkha banata hai, bhagwan ko thagata hai, aap kaha se a gaya, kushi pandit, there is no role of the human being in the development of the plant body. It is 100 percent natural process, it is 100 percent the God's creation process. Ek baas samaj mein a gai, ki kisi bhi pet paude ke ruddhi mein jin jin sansadhan unki aushakta hoti hai, unki aapurti hum nahi karte, kaun karta hai? Bhagawan karta hai, Ishwar karta hai. Sathiyo, the God has given the legs to me. Why? So that I can walk by the legs and I can cut down any fruit and I can eat the food to fulfill my stomach. The God has given the hands to me because to cut down the fruits when I am hunger and I have to fulfill my stomach. God has given the tongue to me so that I can demand some food to anybody when I am hunger and I can fulfill my stomach. But this huge tree is standing on same place. This huge tree is standing on same place, cannot walk, cannot demand, cannot demand to anybody, cannot walk, cannot cut down any fruit, cannot take from anything from anybody. But there is no deficiency at all, there is no deficiency. That means nutrients are available to the plant body. Agar jungle ka pair, एक ही जगह खड़ा है, बुस्ती रहे, अचल है, 
कहीं जा नहीं सकता किसी को मांग नहीं सकता लेकिन भूखा नहीं है सारे न्यूट्रिएंट उसके शरीर में समृद्ध है कहां से लिए कहां से मिले हु एज गिवन द न्यूट्रिएंट इनिट्री कैन गेट द न्यूट्रिएंट फ्रॉम एयर सोलर एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सन एंड सॉइल the plants are getting the carbon dioxide and nitrogen from the atmosphere water from the soil given by the monsoon and solar energy is given by the solar light sun if there is deficiency in the soil as per the claim of the agricultural universities but agricultural university is claiming that there is no nutrient in the soil where to apply extensively by the by utilization of the chemical fertilizers if the claims of the agricultural universities are right i will ask them why we are not going to supply in the forest why they are all the nutrients are supplied by the god naturally why there is no necessity of the external inputs they have no answer they have no answer basically basically they are taking the nutrient from the soil nitrate phosphate potash micronutrient are taken from the soil that means all the nutrients are supplied by the soil that means soil is saturated by all nutrients say soil is not deficited this is the wrong statement given by the agricultural is soil is deficited totally wrong claim totally wrong the soil is saturated by all nutrients soil is annapurna what in call telugu annapurna annapurna all the nutrients which are required for the development of plant me are exist in the soil in tremendous quantity or in tremendous quantity otherwise there may be deficiency in the plant body but there is no deficiency in the forest in the plant body that means all the nutrients are available taken from the soil that means soil is totally saturated by uh, all the nutrients soil is annapurna so nothing to be purchased from the market and nothing to be given externally not necessary at all agricultural university has misguided the farmers and nation up to now also and now also they are uh, they are uh, misguiding the farmers to promote chemical fertilizer and organic fertilizer now also ye kya baat hai you are accepting the truth that in the legal document which can be support to the supreme court also that there is enough quantity of the potash in the soil but is non available form you have to apply externally why why are suggesting to apply externally why are not giving the technology to convert non available into available not given by the agricultural ministry aid not given by the agricultural ministry only suggestion you have to apply chemical fertilizer why साथियों, नॉन अवेलेबल फॉर्म मीन्स इन विच रूट कैन नॉट टेक आई आई विल गिव एन एग्जाम्पल वेदर द तेलंगाना पीपल इज ईटिंग द रॉ जवार राइस और दे आर ईटिंग रोटी मैं आई हर्ड डेट तेलंगाना पीपल are eating only raw rice and seeds of the wheat and jowar is it correct ha huh? no what you are eating roti okay okay who are cooking the roti in your home ha huh? mother or ha huh? wife why you are not ha huh? wife why you are not immediately you have taken name wife 
that means there is a role in your home that if the wife will cook the food you will get the food otherwise no otherwise no you have a lot of the jowar rice dal pulses everything for the cooking baba you have lot of in your home in the stock but your wife is gone to the his uh, her mother or her uh, her father and you can't cook the food and you are hunger what you will done what you will do you will go to the hotel ashoka you will go to the hotel ashoka that means there is a very great role of the your wife for cooking purpose then you will get the food material in situ in home otherwise you have to go to hotel chemical fertilizer is the hotel material what is the role the cooking role of your wife and that is the role to the god has given to the microorganism in the soil microorganism convert not available into available form and then food is available to the plant body that means we do not want any manure we do not want any fertilizer we want only microorganism culture hamari bhumi annapurna hai पौधों के वृद्धि के लिए जितने भी खाद्य तत्व तो चाहिए हमारी भूमि में पर्याप्त मात्रा में है महासागर है लेकिन जड़े वो ले नहीं सकती जड़ों को पक्का चाहिए पक्का भूमि में होता नहीं कच्चा होता है ये पकाने का काम सूक्ष्म जीवाणु करते हैं और पका कर जड़ों को उपलब्ध करते हैं इसका मतलब है हमें खाद नहीं चाहिए क्या चाहिए हमें क्या चाहिए वॉट वी वॉन्ट ओनली कल्चर ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम वी डो नॉट वॉन्ट केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर वी डो नॉट वॉन्ट मैन्यूअर ऑल्सो आर यू अंडरस्टूड यस आई विल गिव एग्जाम्पल the atmosphere is the ocean of the nitrogen there are 78.6% nitrogen existed in the atmosphere there is a ocean of the nitrogen near to the plant body near the leaves but the leaves cannot take nitrogen straight from the atmosphere god has not given the capacity to the leaves to take the nitrogen from the atmosphere straight you cut down any leaf of any plant in the forest and investigate in the laboratory you will not get any deficiency of the nitrogen in the plant body that means in the forest nitrogen is available to the plant body who has given the leaves have not taken from the atmosphere but they can't take the atmosphere from the atmosphere at any cost god has not given the capacity we have not given in the soil because we have not applied chemical fertilizer urea and ammonium sulfate but it is available that means in the forest land there is something there who have taken the nitrogen from the atmosphere and supplied to the roots and these are the microorganism and they are called nitrogen fixing bacteria nitrogen fixing and these nitrogen fixing bacteria are existed in the desi cow dung local cow dung that means in jivamrutam gane jivamrutam that means when you give the jivamrutam gane jivamrutam that means desi cow dung all the microorganisms are going in the atmosphere in the soil and they take nitrogen from the atmosphere and to supply to the roots easily that means we do not want urea and ammonium sulfate 
if you want to supply the northern tube line body, we want only what we want? Uh, Deshi Kaudam, right? Deshi Kaudam. We want only Deshi Kaudam. 40 lakh farmers are practicing Jehovah's Natural Farming in India. 40 lakh. You show single deficiency of the nutrient in the plant body. No deficiency at all. We are not utilizing urea, any DAP and all the other chemical fertilizers at all. We are not utilizing cow dung manure. But there is no deficiency. Because, because we are utilizing Jivambutam, Ghana Jivambutam in the form of cow dung and all the nitrogen fixing bacteria are going to the soil and they are taking nitrogen to supply to the roots not to be utilized any chemical fertilizer. Understood? Samaj mein aagaya hai? Agar nitrogen nahi dena hai, to kya dena bade kaam hai? Deshi cow dung dena bade kaam hai. In the soil, the phosphate is existed in single particle stage or double particle stage. and triple particle stage. That means there are three forms of the phosphate, single particle, double particle, triple particle. Monovalent orthocalcium phosphate, divalent orthocalcium phosphate and trivalent orthocalcium phosphate. The roots want monovalent single particle. Roots cannot take double particle, triple particle phosphate from the soil. And there is no existence of the monoparticle in the single particle phosphate in the soil. That means the phosphate is available, but not in available stage, it is non-available stage. That means the phosphate is not in single particle, the phosphate is in double particle and triple particle. Some microorganisms are converting double particle into single particle. That means divalent calcium phosphate into uh, monovalent also calcium phosphate. And these are the phosphate soluble bacteria, PSB bacteria. You know PSB bacteria. These PSB bacteria also are not to be manufactured in the, in the factory. Only cell division it takes place in the factory. Only deshi cow dung is having all these bacteria. That means when you utilize Jivambutam, Ghana Jivambutam, ultimately, by means of the Deshi cow dung, ultimately, all the bacteria, PSB bacteria are going to the soil, they convert non available into available phosphate and supply to the roots easily. No necessity to give the DAP and all other phosphatic fertilizer to the soil, not necessary at all. No single gram of the fertilizer can be purchased and to be given to the soil. Not if you want to supply phosphate only, we have to utilize what we have to utilize? Deshi cow dung. There is enough quantity of the potash in the soil, but in the soil, potash is available in the multi bound system that is colloidal, collides, silicates collide, multi particle system. The roots cannot take multi-particle potash. They want mono uh, single particle potash. And some microorganisms are converting non-available into available, double particle into single particle. And, and that organisms are responsible for the conversion of double particle into single particle. And bacillus silica species of the microorganism is responsible. Bacillus silica. And these bacillus silica microorganisms are existing in the deshi cow dung. That means why will when you utilize juambutam gani juam by means of deshi cow dung ultimately, this microorganism will enter the soil and they convert non-available into available form and all the potash is available, pen body, not thing to be purchased and utilized from extraordinary, nothing, nothing. No urea, 
no DAP, no single superphosphate, no double, no triple superphosphate, superphosphate no potassium sulphate, no mirita potash, no microdeterminant, nothing, nothing to be purchased, only we have to utilize cow dung, only to utilize. I have given that open challenge to agricultural industry, they have to prove, they have to prove their soil is not saturated by all nutrients, they have to prove. Satyo, only we have to utilize deshi cow dung, all the nutrients will be available, naturally, not fully. Samaj mein aagaya? Agar chemical fertilizer ka upayog ne karna hai, to kya karna padega? Deshi gai ka gobar dalna padega. अब सवाल आ गया मेरे ये ये निष्कर्षों में पहुंच गया। I came on the conclusion that none of the chemical fertilizers and manures should be applied in the soil. Only we have to utilize deshi cow dung. How much deshi cow dung is required? Then there was a big question in my mind. Then I have started to investigate. The quantity, perfect quantity of the desi cow dung, local cow dung. I utilize 100 kg, of, uh, 1000 kg of the desi cow dung in one per acre. In one plot, second plot, 900 kg, 800 kg, 700 kg. 600, 500, 400, 300, 250, 200, 180 kg per acre, 160, 120 kg, 100 kg, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20 kg, 10 kg, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 kg. On variable plot, I have taken the variable quantity of the desi cow dung. I have replicated the quantity every year. I have changed the quantity. And after 3 year research, I found not necessary 1000 kg, not necessary 900 kg, no 700, no 600, no 500, no 300, no 100, no 50, no 40, only 10 kg cow dung is required for one acre once a month. 